Hi there, I'm Oliver Goddard, I'm a freelance graphic designer and I am from Buckingham. One of my favourite things about graphic design is being able to incorporate my photography with my passion of design. Usually the photograph will be my starting point and then I'll work forward from there and that will give me the inspiration for what the final design will be. I have a Creative Cloud membership and my favourite apps that I use pretty much on a daily basis are InDesign, Illustrator and Muse. I follow Adobe on all their social platforms and so I found Adobe Stock through that way. I was recently approached by a new startup company um, to create their web design and I've been using the preview version of Experience Design alongside Adobe Stock to create mock-ups to show the client. It's quite a technical company so I've been looking for a non-branded, well-lit, professional photo of uh, computers and servers and I've been able to find these all on Adobe Stock. One of the things I really like about Adobe Stock is being able to preview the photos in my mockups. Once I've found the shot, I'm able to just literally drop it into my CC library and then use it across all of my different apps. Having used other stock companies in the past, um, where you have to open up your browser, search through lots and lots of images and then download them, I found that Adobe Stock is really simple and easy because it's integrated into the actual apps themselves. Once the client has approved the image, then I can just right click on the photo in the Creative Cloud library and directly purchase the license and it updates the watermarked image to a high res version and it's pretty much as simple as that. One of the benefits of Creative Cloud and Adobe Stock is being able to have the 10 images a month which has saved me money and it's been very cost effective. If I couldn't use Adobe Stock anymore, I think I'd be a bit of a loss. I'd be searching around, probably paying quite a lot for different Im individual images, and I'd be probably taking my own shots, which probably wouldn't be as good. <laughs> Going forward, I'd really like to explore more of the features on Adobe Stock, such as the video, vector art, and illustrations. I think I'd really benefit from using those within my designs. I've had a great experience using Adobe Stock, and I'm excited to see where I can use it in my projects in the future because it's just seamless and it's just really easy.